see him come through the ranks as a midget wrestler to where he is today. He's won uh, three medals, state runner-up and two fifths. Uh, fine individual, and he's my neighbor too. So uh, I want to give a recognition of outstanding performance to Robert Malik. Robert. <laughs> Robert a trophy when through the Rotary Club when he was the outstanding lineman as a junior. Do you remember that, Robert? Yeah. <laughs> Council President won't let you forget. <laughs> Congratulations. That's for you, Coach Post. Yeah. One of the uh, one of the things about Robert is, you know, as a senior, a big responsibility is you know, he's got to step up and, and be the leader and carry the torch, as so many guys have in the past years, and I think uh, Everybody who's been to our matches and watched how our kids carry themselves on the mat can attest that Robert was a, was a great leader for all of those guys on our team this year. Now we'll start with uh, Brian Meyer. He was a third place finisher as a junior. We'll be back quite a colorful uh, wrestler, a lot of style, a lot of grace, and uh, I don't personally know the gentleman, but uh, I think he could uh, have a good chance of being a champion next year. So uh, I want to recognize you as your third place as a junior, uh, Brian Meyer. things about Brian is, you know, he'll be, as a junior, going to be a senior next year, he'll be one of the guys that'll be, be carrying the torch for our team. Um, Brian, Brian, along with all his accomplishments for Phillipsburg, also is very accomplished on the freestyle scene. Um, he was an All-American out in Fargo, North Dakota, uh, placed fourth, fourth in Fargo in freestyle. Um, that's the international styles that are wrestled in the Olympics, and uh, Brian's continuing that this, this year already. Um, and, and working towards more credentials in the off season on the national level. So uh, we're you know, very happy for all his accomplishments this year as well. It's been a long journey. I started following this back in my, when Dad Turner was coach in 1969. So it's uh, wrestling eight years myself. And uh, one gentleman I used to wrestle is right in the crowd. Uh, back in the day, and we had a lot of fun together, and it's uh, actually a lot of fun watching you guys, and now last but not least, we have a sophomore who placed eighth as a, in the States, and I got to know his parents uh, a little bit down at the NJSIA Championship, they were very polite, and I'm really glad that their son got a chance to get a medal this year, so uh, Cody, would you come forward? Cody has. <laughs> Uh, one of the things about Cody, uh, you know, just uh, New Jersey is typically one of the top states in all the United States in wrestling. Um, so we are one of the last two states, California and New Jersey, that wrestle down to one state champion um, for each weight class. And to go into the state tournament as a sophomore in place is very difficult. We have very few kids that do that. Um, two names that would ring a bell over the last few years, Robert is one of them to place as a sophomore, and the other uh, is Brandon Patzel. So for Cody to be able to accomplish that as a sophomore, um, you know, certainly along the same lines, this is the first time in three year, or that we've had three state medalists um, in, I, I, think, I think, 20, exactly 20 years um, at the state tournament. So. Uh, you know, it goes, a lot of things go unnoticed, but these guys put a lot of time into it. Um, you know, it's not just a couple months out of the year. They commit themselves from, you know, the day the season ends till the, till the next season starts, uh, ready to get on that podium because, you know, these guys now all know how special that really is. But again, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And thank you.